Patton, so much to talk about. So much happening. <laughs> Now, uh, oh, oh, yeah. we, I haven't been on since this war broke no, out. No, no. And I'm curious because you're, you're an intelligent man. You're a, a caring and smart man. Oh, it doesn't yeah. say that anywhere. Okay, no. Uh, I'm just curious. Are, are you watching this war coverage? Are you paying uh, the attention? Only, the only thing I'm watching it on is Fox News because it's, uh, it's such... It's so like obviously propaganda, but it's so entertaining. Right. Like whenever they talk, especially Fox is very they're very like pro war. Oh. We got to get in there and do it. It's get the like job yeah, done. it's like stuff that like Russians in the fifties ago. You've got to subtle this up. This is way you <laughs> this propaganda. Right, right. So like whenever they talk to like an Iraqi like the war minister and they'll do a translator voice. You know, they'll pick the goofiest voices on the planet to like show, like they'll go, today the Iraqi war minister had this to say. And then the voice sounds like Mayor McCheese. You know, they're like, we're going to be lobbing Scud missiles at you guys. Let me tell you, when those hit your supply lines, you won't know what hit you, don't you know? <laughs> Here's the Hamburglar to tell you about our defenses. <laughs> it's so nuts, man. I think it's more entertaining, though. It really does, man. Burgle, burgle, burgle. Yeah, rubble, rubble. What? Who? He says burgle, burgle, the hamburglar. He says rubble, rubble. I think he says burgle, burgle. Rubble, rubble. I always, when I grew up, he'd always go like burgle, 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 burgle. Burglar. Burglar. Burgle, burgle. Check what? out, check out my website. I think you're going to be very, uh, very surprised. Okay, it's my show and I decide me, the winner. Oh, uh, okay. Now, Patton, how is the war affecting your life? That's what I want to know. How is it affecting you, Patton Oswalt? I am not as worried as I thought I would be because I think we're going to do okay because I don't know if anyone's been watching late night TV lately, mm -hmm. but we have one guy. <laughs> Hi, Insomnia. Well, that means um, I'm screwed, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> exactly. Your fan showed up. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we now have the pasta pot. So things are going to be okay. The pasta pot. I've heard about the pasta Can pot. Can I explain it to the people? Explain you know it. About? This is a great infomercial. Okay. Finally, you know the horror of having to dump cooked spaghetti into a colander? <laughs> over! <laughs> it's over now. There's a pot now where you just click the top and you can drain the water right out of it. We're okay. Yeah. You can drain it right out of it. And it's like they... They invented a problem that doesn't exist. They always do. And then they solved it, right. and people are buying it. Right. It's That's like, how our economy works. It's brilliant. It's like, guys, are you tired of walking around with your penis flapping in the breeze like a windsock? <laughs> then get the new pants from Denmark. That's right. <laughs> the Danish invention that covers your penis when you're walking around. Pants! No, but what's fun is the first part of those ads, they... <laughs> I lost them. No, oh, they're like pants. No, I people are writing pants. it down. Yeah. No, but Damn. they're always the first part is always a guy showing you that, what a big problem it is. It's like, right. are you tired of not being able to hold a pencil? Oh! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh! Oh! I can't do it. The now liquid got, in my hand. Yeah. The pencil gripper. Oh my god. Um, we should make our own infomercials, I we believe. We should just invent stuff. Yeah, you and yeah. me would make a fortune. Invent fake problems. Yeah, but I mean, you remember they were talking about all the comfort food since the war? Yeah. That's me. I'll go right for the comfort food in times. Like, I like a good steak, man. We were talking I'll about that. You know what? Steak. There's no better steak than the, uh, the one you can get at Outback Steakhouse. There's no better steak. No better steak. And especially, like, Outback lately, though, has gotten... Remember how friendly the ads were at Outback where they're like, come on in, have a steak, how about a baked potato? You're like, how about, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow night. It sounds good, yeah. But now, the, the ads for Outback have, like, turned into this gauntlet of angry food. Mm -hmm. It's like a rite of manhood where you go and they go, at Outback, we'll start you off with our appetizer platter featuring five jumbo deep-fried gulf shrimp. Served on a disc of salted butter with 15 of our potato bacon bombs and a big bowl of pork cracklings <laughs> with our cheese and butter dipping sauce. You're like, you know, we're all gonna, we're all gonna split that. You'll each get your own! <laughs> <laughs> then we'll take you to our mile-long soup and salad bar featuring bacon and cheese cream soup with our five head of iceberg lettuce he-man salad served in a punch bowl with 18 pounds of ranch dressing and what the hell, a couple of corn dogs. Like, uh, <laughs> you can't I throw get, corn dogs yeah, in there. I'll just get like a mixed green. Hey, buddy, I'll put on a dress and skip down Christopher Street when I bring you a mixed green. Wait, when did, when did that happen? There's I a, don't know. You're right, there's a veiled threat. There's this weird threat, and then, go, and then we'll wheel out our bottomless trough of fried dough. And you're like, I, am I getting a steak? Oh, you'll get a steak. Yeah, hang on, because then we'll bring out our 55-ounce Los Mesa He-Man steak slab, served with a deep-fried pumpkin stuffed with buttered scallops 
and 37 of our potato bacon bombs. You're like, uh, I don't think I can. And then bend over, Abigail May, because here comes the gravy pipe. <laughs> I want the gravy pipe. I'm not ready for the gravy pipe. Bring on the gravy pipe. All right. The Conan O'Brien gravy pipe. Oh, let's not call it that. Are you sick of shoveling gravy into your face yeah. with the spoon? I can't get it in! Isn't there no a matter what I delivery do. system? I can't do it. We'll pump it right into your thighs and belly with the Conan O'Brien gravy pipe. <laughs> You know what's the best illustration of what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. The most uh, common beef ad is beef. Yeah. It's what's for dinner. Shut up! And it's yeah, kind you're of, having beef. Yeah, it's it's the whole slant of it is kind of like shut your hole. You're having beef. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? An animal just died. Now you eat. <laughs> I wasn't. But still, our apologies to Outback. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's great. Come on, get in on this. <laughs> yeah. They have curly fries. Oh, they have curly fries? I think so. Outback rules! All right. Uh, Patton, you're always hilariously funny. Patton's going to be That's appearing. That's right. It's true. It says that here. <laughs> you are on. always hilarious. I found out. <laughs> Patton will be appearing at Largo in L.A. April 21st and at the Hudson Theater in L.A. on April 24th. Patton Oswald, you're a good man. Oh, Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with Finch. Stick around.